guys. Thank you for inviting to this amazing conference. And uh, I would like to uh, represent uh, SubSocial. It's a social finance protocol on Polkadot. And I'm the founder of this uh, amazing project. So uh, what kind of problems we are trying to solve at SubSocial? So such as we're building social networking protocol, we are obviously targeting problems that we have with uh, Web 2.0 uh, social networks, uh, such as uh, monopolists, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, uh, Medium, and so on. And um, we see several uh, list of problems that uh, we, we have with these uh, centralized uh, platforms. For example, uh, we see that uh, the, one of the biggest uh, uh, benefits of social networks is, is, is network effects. And this uh, platform, they monopolize network effects. So uh, we provided tons of our personal data to them and created profiles and uh, follower base and uh, all our content uploaded. But uh, it looks like uh, we don't own it actually. And uh, uh, even if you remember recent, like several years ago, uh, there were tons of startups building on top of uh, API of uh, centralized social networks, but then centralized social networks, they realized that they don't want to see competitors uh, that can build on top of the API, so they start uh, limiting access to it, right? limiting and all this stuff. So right now uh, it is uh, almost impossible or impossible to build uh, competitive applications. Uh, next thing is, uh, for example, uh, unparameterization. So you can see that uh, on more and more social networks and, and uh, media platforms, we can have uh, different monetization methods like um, recurring subscriptions, uh, pay-per-view, sometimes tips. I see like super likes, super uh, chat uh, on YouTube. You can see some monetization on Patreon. But again, it's it's kind of, it's sort of like limited, and it's uh, designed and uh, implemented by centralized uh, company. And uh, one company cannot be creative in a, a different way. So they are usually following some kind of vector of the company. And if you compare this to DeFi. Uh, what is different with DeFi and why it exploded a couple of years ago? Because there were no one person or company that everyone should go and ask for permission. Like, can we build this monetization? Can we build this uh, type of uh, finance, financial tools? Uh, people just uh, did what they wanted to do. They forked each other, add, added some uh, additional stuff. And this is what I believe uh, we can do with social networking. If we apply finance to social network and thanks to blockchain, we obviously can do this. Another problem is uh, uh, global censorship. So um, what it means is that uh, there is such thing like uh, sometimes people don't uh, like what other people say or one culture doesn't accept uh, things happened in another culture. And this is totally fine. But such as uh, this centralized platforms, they are international, global. It is hard to maintain uh, different uh, cultures uh, or kind of like instances per country, instances, like, I mean, by instance, I mean Twitter, Facebook instances per country, per, per culture, etc. They are global companies, they have one vector that they develop and, and that's it. But, uh, and, and if uh, something is not good in, in one culture, they usually block it uh, globally. And this is, that means censorship. But, in contrast, uh, we could uh, go the route of uh, moderation, where uh, something is could, could be moderated uh, per specific user interface, per specific instance, per, per culture, per, per uh, country, etc. And with blockchain, of course, we can have this because with blockchain we have uh, open shared data and uh, different uh, people, companies, cultures, countries can build their uh, view sub. Uh, interface uh, to all this available data and yeah, next one is algorithm dictatorships dictatorship it means that uh, on uh, all major social networks there is uh, one algorithm to, to rule them all and this algorithm is designed to maximize profits of shareholders of these companies so for example on uh, major platforms it's it's uh, it, uh, it makes us spend as much as possible time because uh, during that time they can show as much as possible advertisement and uh, make money on this. But uh, this method of monetization is very specific to centralized uh, web 2.0 businesses. But uh, with blockchain, we can have 
very different monetizations. Uh, we, we can we can monetize this advertisement, but it's not just uh, one way to monetize. We can have uh, recurring payments. We can have tips. We can have treasuries. We can have inflation. A lot of cool stuff uh, that Web 2.0 platforms could not afford. That's it. That's why uh, we can uh, allow uh, competitive algorithms, and we can allow ourselves to have a decentralized marketplace for algorithms. Uh, that's why uh, we can we could see much more interesting um, competitive algorithms where people can choose uh, what algorithm they, they want to, to use. For example, one person could decide, I don't want to see politics. Another person could say, could, could say like, I want to see memes and uh, funny content and, and so on and so forth. Uh, and some algorithms could be uh, free, but with lower quality. Some algorithms could be a masterpiece, but uh, maybe they will be expensive like i don't know 100 dollars per month something like this kind of like netflix so imagine like a marketplace uh, on uh, wordpress with plugins but for social networks something like that and of course such as it's again uh, open and permissionless system so uh, we can have uh, different uh, social networking apps built on top of this and it means that in this way we can uh, target such issue like lack of customization because with facebook and twitter as i mentioned before uh, we usually have just one app with them all and we cannot uh, choose between different alternatives so again what, what is substocial substocial is a social networking platform built on top of blockchain uh, where the data stored outside of blockchain in such systems like uh, right now we support ipfs and future planning to add support for alternative storage networks like rv or maybe something else um, and, uh, and this enables us uh, that uh, uh, all, all this means is that uh, it's underlying layer for social networks and uh, it features such thing like uh, open shared social graph as it, as it should be if you remember facebook uh, called the api open graph and actually right now it's not so open it's like uh, it's kind of something open uh, through rate limiting and uh, uh, limited functionality but uh, by being built on blockchain and ipfs uh, we have this open permission system and everything Every, every network effect, every uh, connections between uh, people, accounts, uh, groups of people, it's open, shared. That's why it's an uh, open, shared social graph. Uh, and uh, it means that uh, all this enables us to build endless number of uh, so-called social dubs on top of subsocial, right? So like compare, like on Ethereum uh, right now we have lots of DeFi apps, uh, like NFT marketplaces and subsocial as a blockchain optimized for social networking, um, people can build social dubs, right? And plus a uh, very good uh, uh, feature of subsocial is that uh, it is a part of uh, Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem. And this is a big deal uh, because in Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem, we have uh, lots of interesting uh, spe special blockchains that are targeting some specific uh, needs and uh, niches like uh, smart contracts. So another blockchain could be targeting privacy, another uh, decentralized identity, uh, decentralized storage, and so on. And by being connected, to Kusama through parachain, you can have uh, this uh, functionality as a native to subsocial through cross-chain communication. For example, if let's say we have this uh, recurrent payment feature uh, where creators can monetize uh, on top of the follower base, and then they want to convert their uh, uh, rewards uh, into stablecoin, and there is uh, Karura uh, blockchain in Kusama that so has stable coins, and by being connected to both uh, subsocial and Karura to Kusama, we can afford uh, to have stable coins, and uh, creators can convert uh, their profits to stable coins. So very big deal. And from the other side, another potential integration could be uh, decentralized identities and uh, credentials from uh, Kilt protocol. It's uh, another blockchain uh, project that is uh, connected to Kusama as part of chain. So uh, by core features in subsocial, we have such things like moderation. Uh, so uh, people can moderate their personal space on subsocial. By space, I mean uh, it's synonym to a blog, group, uh, channel, 
on other social networks. And in our case, we call it space. It's your personal space and blockchain. And uh, obviously, there should be tools to moderate your personal space, right? So it's not global censorship. Uh, we don't uh, have functionality to block anybody globally, but uh, people can block or allow others not uh, appropriate content per se space, right? So it's moderation. Another one, <clears throat> uh, it's roles and permissions. By, by this, uh, you can build a dynamic roles such as editor, moderator, uh, I don't know, like friend, membership, etc. per your space, per group of spaces and so on. And such as uh, space owners uh, is, is account, space owner is an account and the account could be a, a multi-sig account. It means that space is becoming more like DAO. So imagine like, as I mentioned before, uh, space is, uh, is like a blog or channel group on other uh, today popular social networks. But in our case, they have more, uh, they have DAO features and we're planning to add much more features uh, in future like polls and uh, treasury per space and proposals and, and, and uh, membership based on, uh, I don't know, social tokens or like NFT specific NFT collection and so on. So very cool stuff could be added and it's totally possible. Uh, then uh, very interesting features are on chain governance uh, for, for the whole chains and uh, ecosystem treasury. It means that we have uh, tons of uh, tons of uh, big percent of uh, tokens in treasury right now it's about 30 percent it could be changed uh, maybe in future and uh, uh, by using this treasury we can uh, sponsor development of ecosystem through grants hackathons uh, bounties tips uh, and so on not saying about uh, uh, rewarding validators collators uh, to run the decentralized uh, network right and uh, of course, uh, one of the interesting features, uh, it's uh, blockchain upgradability. This is possible. Uh, so, I mean, sub-social blockchain can be upgrade upgradable without uh, forks in a forkless way because they are building on top of substrate blockchain framework developed by Parity. And this is the same framework on, on top of each Polkadot and Kusama and uh, such projects like Akala, BitCountry uh, built on. Right, so we are built on the same framework. Also, uh, to achieve our goals, uh, we developed a social primitives. So think like social Legos, social primitives, it's kind of synonyms, and uh, it includes such things like profiles. Profiles is like extended uh, information uh, around uh, blockchain account because blockchain account is quite a limited thing. It's just uh, some uh, kind of random uh, letters uh, and uh, balance, but in our case, it could have avatar, just bio and uh, followers, followings and so on, and plus spaces. Uh, also, uh, there is a module in Substrate called Palet, it's called Follows, so through Follows you can follow profiles and spaces and vice versa. And then we have uh, posts and votes, uh, like on, on a normal social network, uh, you can go to blog and post something and then have a, a comments uh, under, under the post, so in our case we can have the same. And then, uh, as mentioned before, we have roles. For example, right now we have uh, some built-in roles, like uh, anyone, follower. If, if, if the account, account follows the space and uh, it has a built-in role follower, then space owner as an account, that is the owner of this current space. And then we have dynamic roles, uh, such as editor, for example. Editors can post uh, a new post to a particular space. And then uh, via, role, uh, via permissions and moderation, you can uh, create uh, content inside of your space because in our case, as in other social metrics as well, you can have a personal space where only you, only your account can post and you can have a uh, kind of open space or uh, it's similar to group on Facebook or on uh, uh, Telegram where other people can post and you can decide either any follower can post or uh, some selected accounts like editors can post. So um, our architecture is consists of uh, several uh, major building blocks such as uh, Substrate uh, blockchain framework, then where we store uh, connections, relations, who follows, 
who who created what space, who posted what post in what space, and so on. Uh, so it's uh, ownership, membership, transfers, uh, prices if something has a price, right? And then uh, IPFS. IPFS is where we store the content itself. Like, for example, per post there is title, uh, body of the post, or body of the comment, uh, image, avatar. So we store this uh, type of content in IPFS. It's external storage to the blockchain itself. And uh, another very important uh, feature is uh, that we, you can log in with uh, Web3 key pair. It means like this uh, public private key. Pair, public private key pair represents uh, your account, it represents you. So we don't have email, password, login. Uh, we deal only through public, through key pair. So this is an uh, image of our architecture. And uh, pay attention that uh, the most important blocks uh, are these two on the bottom. So it's first a substrate for relations with these models, as I mentioned before, spaces, posts, ownership, roles, and so on. And then APFS service for images, uh, text content, and uh, some other extended information. These three things are optional, and they are per app uh, specific, so that uh, such app can have their own database uh, to provide additional user experience improvements to the blockchain, because blockchain is, is best uh, when storing something like key value pair, like, this account has this number of uh, posts, but uh, it cannot have very rich, interesting uh, requests, like you can have this uh, SQL databases, like Postgres, MySQL, uh, and Oracle, and so on. And this demonstrates, uh, this block on the top demonstrates that anyone can build uh, alternative, endless number of web and mobile applications on top of subsocial that can include all the functionality to have, uh, lim limited, so you, you can just use some subset of functionality, or you can extend, integrate with anything you want. You can integrate with Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Fiat, uh, Stripe, whatever. You can do whatever you want. Nobody can uh, say you anything about this. So, on social, uh, your keys, your data. So, you really own your content. All right, so this is an important thing. And uh, another major part of subsocial, so it's, we, call, we don't call it social uh, protocol, we don't, uh, but we rather call it social finance protocol because such as we're building on top of blockchain, of course we have uh, by default a native token, also we are planning to add support to multi-token uh, functionality, and so sometimes they are called social tokens because we are building social networking protocol and having all these tokens, it means that these tokens will be social, right? So it means that uh, creators, uh, person, uh, cre creators, brands, uh, companies can create their tokens to monetize their user base, to control membership, to provide different perks and benefits uh, to their followers and so on and so forth. Also social finance includes uh, such things like tips, uh, subscriptions, recurring payments, pay pay-per-view, and uh, the posts on subsocial are NFTs, so they already have owner, uh, you could transfer them, you could sell them, you could uh, monetize in different ways. Um, this is still work in development uh, in terms of monetization, but uh, posts are already uh, ownable things, right? And the same applies to spaces, so you can own space, you can transfer space, uh, you can uh, in future, in, in near future, issue social tokens per space and then monetize followers. And also, we're planning to add support for smart contracts, um, but I believe we will do it uh, through uh, cross chain functionality because there will be um, there are already some smart contract chains on Kunkusan and Polkadot, and there will be even new chains so that are in development uh, with uh, even more optimized uh, smart contracts. Mm. So there is, uh, I believe that right now there is uh, Solidity. We can execute Solidity smart contracts in the uh, .sanaka system. Then uh, there, there is uh, Inc smart contracts, it's uh, smart contracts in Rust, and there is a uh, sort of smart contract engine developed by Gear Technology. We have conversation about potential integrations. Uh, so yeah, and, and one more thing about smart contracts, uh, why is that great? Because through smart contracts, we can we can bring the same level of endless creativity to social networking as we see on DeFi. That's why it's very interesting, intriguing, and important, but we should be very careful because smart contracts 
uh, have downside because they are not so performant as the native blockchain coin, right? So they're less performant and you know this from Ethereum uh, issues, right? Gas fee uh, and, and performance. So uh, in substantial, you, you uh, can have uh, user experience that is uh, quite similar to what you have on uh, Web2 platforms, such as uh, personalized feeds uh, but, uh, based on what spaces, accounts you follow, notifications that notifies about uh, some activities related to, to your account. For example, somebody subscribed to you, answered to your post, comment, whatever. Then it's a uh, search engine optimized. So, uh, for example, we have some social web app that works on top of blo our social blockchain. And uh, it's a uh, search engine uh, optimized. It's indexed by Google search. And uh, it's uh, for, for Google bot, it looks like normal application. And plus, we have full text search. So, we can search for content by uh, words, uh, keywords, etc. And this is all possible uh, due to that we uh, subscribe to events on blockchain and we index them in additional database, in Postgres database and in Elasticsearch. So it's totally possible to do even other different things. One of the important things is that uh, usually, usually people uh, thinking and worry about is that, uh, yeah, like uh, you build on blockchain and you have these transactions and transactions cost something. Uh, yes, we know this. We, we have some uh, very good ideas how to bring fee less transactions, and this is totally possible for blockchains built on top of Substrate because with Substrate you can be very creative, innovative, and all the stuff that you cannot have on Ethereum smooth through smart contracts because smart contracts are very, very, very limited. But on, sorry. Yes. Okay. Um, so also we're working on a mobile application and yeah, we already implemented uh, most of the functionality. Right now we're finishing uh, sending of transactions uh, like follow, like, comment, etc. And uh, I already mentioned that uh, we are going to have this treasury, um, on chain treasury through which we are, uh, will support uh, grants, hackathons and uh, tips. So we are inviting uh, anyone who wants to build as a new crazy social dub, crazy social experiments, uh, contact us. Let's have a conversation, see where we can go, what integrations we can have, what alternative apps you can build. So we're very excited. We are supported by uh, two grants from the Foundation. Also, we are part of some state builders program run by Parity, and we have very uh, notable uh, respected advisors in our team. So our source code you can find on github.com slash dub force. And uh, yeah, it looks like I don't have time for demo, but uh, you can find it at uh, app.subsocial.network. And also we are hiring, uh, we're looking for exceptional technical specialist, non-technical specialist. So please visit subsocial.network slash jobs if you're interested to join the social revolution. And you can contact us at subsocial.network slash links. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in Web3.